discussing from Bhagavad Gita as it is. By doing this, AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sri So today is a very important verse. You can say it is a conclusion of Bhagavad Gita. Today's verse. It was the last chapter. And in the last chapter, we are at the conclusion of Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 18, entitled Perfection of Renunciation, based on the teachings of his Devan Rish, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada, Jai. So today is the important verse which Krishna is concluding here in this 18th chapter, Sloka number 66 from chapter 18. Sarva Dharma Parityajya Sarva Dharma Parityajya Vame Kam Sharanam Raja Vame Kam Sharanam Raja Aham Tvam So this word is very very important in this verse. What is that? Masucha. Masucha. How many of you have seen Ativardhar? Either online, Prabhu has very fortunately seen directly, through at least by photo or online. If you see in his hand what is written? Masuchaya. What is a Masuchaya meaning? Do not worry. When you go to God, definitely we will not worry. But if you don't, if you turn your back from God, definitely we will be always worried. We will be always tormented by three things. What is that? Shoka, Moga and Paya. Shoka means always you are worrying about the past. Why did I do like that? Correct or not? We all are worrying about the past, right? I could have done in a different way. Shoka. Why I did like this? Why I did take a decision? Shoka. And currently we are in moha, illusion. We don't know what is true, what is currently we are in illusion. And definitely we all have bio for future. Future is very uncertain. So, shoka, moha, and bio. There is one sloka in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Eshyavai Shriya Manayam Krishna Parama Purushe Bhakti Utpate Pumsam Shoka Moha Bhaya Apaha. That means if you start hearing about Krishna, Eshyaya, Shriya, Manayam, about whom? Krishna, Parama, Purushe, about Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then what happens? Bhakti, Utpati, Pumsam, for the so human beings, the Bhakti will start flourishing within the heart. When it starts flourishing, what happens? Krishna will remove all this, Shoka, Moha, and Paya, Abha. He will Abha, means he will take away the Shoka, which you are worrying for the past, he will remove the illusion which is you are seeing in the present life, present condition and he will also remove the bhaya which you are about thinking about your future. So this is very very important to understand. Masuchaha means one who is connected to the Lord, definitely he will not worry. That's why the that the Lord is very mercifully showing in his hand. Ma Suchaha. Do not worry. Om Jnana Tumirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Sim Tati Swakadam Kityam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uttapata Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnamamcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Radhana Tanvitam Tam Sajiva Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Verita Shri Vishatanvitam Sajiva Hey Krishna, Karuna, Sindho, Dina, Vando, Jagat, Pate, Gopesha, Gopika, Kanta, Radha, Kanta, Namostate, Tapta, Kanchana, Gaurangi, Radhe, Vrinda, Vaneshwari, Prashavanu, Sute, Devi, Pranamami, Hari, Priye, Vancha, Kalpata, Vesha, Krupa, Sindhu, Bevacha, Patitana, Pavane, Pyo, Vaishnave, Pyo, Namonaha, Nima, Om, Ishtupadaya, Krishna, Prashtaya, Bhutale, Shrimate, Bhakti, Vedanta, Swami, Nitinamini, Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pachata Devsatarine Ukam Kuroti Vachalam Pangun Lange De Grimitra Pratamande Shri Guru Dinatarana Paramananda Madhavam Shri Chaitanya Vishwam Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gradara Shri Vasadi Gauravakurinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. So we would like to welcome all the devotees for this program. So before going to the class, we would like to welcome the new devotees who have come here for the first time. So the new devotees can introduce themselves, the name and from which place of India you are coming from. Who are coming for the first time, you can introduce, one by one we can introduce. Prabhu, you can tell your name and from which place. Deepak, Hare Krishna, welcome. You can sit and tell no 
दुष्मंता महापात्र फ्रॉम ओडिशा हरी कृष्ण प्रभु जी जी फ्रॉम केरला हरे आप लोग का हिंदी में ट्रांसलेशन चाहिए पीछे बैठ सकता है माता जी से नीडी फर्स्ट है हरे कृष्ण वी आर हैप्पी दैट टुडे सो मेनी डिवोटीज न्यू डिवोटीज हैव कम वी विल प्रे टू द लॉर्ड दैट दे गेट मोर एंड मोर एसोसिएशन विद डिवोशनल सर्विस डिवोटीज एंड दे आल्सो प्रोग्रेस इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस एंड आल्सो वी प्रे फॉर ऑल आवर एक्जिस्टिंग डिवोटीज टू प्रोग्रेस इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस लेट अस ऑल चैंट हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र थ्री टाइम्स ऑल हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so we have come to the most confidential part to become a pure devotee of krishna that is today's section the most confidential knowledge like we have friends we have friends in our company right that is called as uh, mitra i mean bandhu there are three suhrut bandhu and mitra which is official friend there is official friend is bandhu i don't know three friends are there mitra suhrut and then Surti Sai, that is the Lord who is sitting in the heart. So, like that, there are three friends we have in our practical life. One is we in the office, we have friends, right? That is like we have, like we can say, confidential friends. Like you reveal something to them. Then outside the office, you also have other friends, right? Outside, we all have, right? We all have friends. Both Mata Ji and Prabhu Ji, we all have friends. Outside the office, also we have friends. Then third, we have family friends, our very close friends. so to office friends you disclose something then to your other friends you disclose little more but to your family friends or your close friends you have some certain family friends you disclose most of your confidential things so like that krishna also reveals his bhagavad gita step by step guhe tara what are the three things guhyam guhe tara and guhe tam guhe tam means the most confidential so for karma yogi or other kind of yoga like karma yogi krishna is revealing about the knowledge of brahman right and then little more like your other friends little more closer krishna is revealing about the knowledge of knowledge of parmatma then to the most dear or most close like family friend when we are going approaching the lord very close through the process of bhakti yoga is revealing the most confidential that is yeah he reveals complete knowledge about himself This is very very important. Now tomorrow, tomorrow is a very very auspicious day, appearance day of Sri Krishna. So that is Janmashtami. So why did the Lord appear? The main purpose of appearing is, even though the Lord says that He appears because of to annihilate the miscreants and to protect the pious. But the most important reason He is appearing is is to deliver the human beings from the sufferings. from the suffering by giving the knowledge of bhagavad gita that is the main purpose he is adventing every yuga is to give the knowledge or revive the knowledge of bhagavad gita correct in this bhagavad gita what is the main subject krishna is speaking the main essence is this is a shloka this is the message he want to give so previously whatever he said the karma yoga jnana yoga ashtanga yoga are all the foundation to come to this level like before you are telling the few, cultivating what you are doing you are tilling the land you know you are you are doing so many ground work before you are planting the seed krishna want to give this message what is this message sarva dharman paritijja maam ekam sharanam vacha aham tum sarva pape bhyo moksha isami masucha but before giving this knowledge definitely we have given the first shloka 
we will not accept that. So he is gradually giving about the knowledge of soul, the knowledge of super soul, then how you are interconnected with him eternally, not only in this life, eternally you are connected him, how you can go back to him. So all this knowledge is systematically given. So this is very, very important part of Bhagavad Gita. Srila Prabhupada says that during World War II, there were a lot of people, uh, you know, World War II, the Germans were there, there were a lot of people in the Europe. They all went to church. You know they all why they went to church? Because their husbands or their brother or their father, they all were into the war. So when somebody from your family goes to war, what will happen? You naturally pray to the Lord. For what? To protect them and they should come back to the home safely. So all these ladies, they all went to the church. That their father, their brother or their husbands, they should all come back from the war safely. But even after their so many prayers, most of them died. Because World War II, you know how it was very intense. It was like a very horrific thing happened. So, majority of them did not return to the home. So, what these people who prayed to the Lord, what, what happened to them? They all lost faith in God. Because they prayed and they lost the hope. Because they did not come. All these people, what happened? They all become atheists. That's why you can see in Europe, not much people are atheist today also, because it is coming in the parampara. Like one of your family member will become atheist. It will follow for many generations. I have seen, even in our own, my own family, some relative, one person, he was a collector, he became an atheist because of association with lot of atheist friends during college. Now his whole family, now one or two generations, complete family is atheist, still now. So, it comes, this same like disciplic succession. Now you give the devotional service to your children, their children will pass to their children. But if you give atheism to your child, or by you become an atheist, that will also pass from generation to generation, unless you are fortunate. Correct? There are people from communists, right? Many people are atheists, and their father is atheist, the son also become atheist, there is chance. Until, unless you are fortunate, maybe you meet some devotee, or some, you know, read Prabhupada books, that is very difficult to change. So all these people become atheists, and still it is continuing. So Srila Prabhupada explains, if you go to God, and you ask for something, and if you don't get, what will be your condition? There is lot of chances that you will become atheist. Because that way you approach God, it is not the correct way. Why? You are seeing God as your, something like He will serve you, servant. But what is the position of God actually? He is the master. So how you should approach Him? You should approach Him that He is the master and whatever good for me in my life, you do. Good or bad, you decide what is good for me. If you go and approach in that way and He will do something, you accept it. That is, in that way you will become, you will improve in your devotion. But rather you go him or approach him as a servant and then ask him, give me this, give me that. The moment he will stop, you will also become upset with him. Either you will leave him or you will become a non-believer of God. But if you see him as a master, you approach him, my Lord guide me in my life, do whatever is good for me so that I may come back to you. Then, do you think your faith will go? No. Because whatever he does, you think that it is his mercy he is giving me in a right way. That's why in Bhagavatam there is a slogan uh, that uh, I think Lord Brahma is saying that whatever we experience in our life, even though it is some look bad, Krishna is giving a discount. Right? So it is very important that we may suffer now, but for how we should take? A devotee will take that, I should, by for my sinful reaction, I should have suffered more. But Krishna is very merciful, he is only giving a token of my suffering. In that way, if you see, definitely your love for Krishna will increase. So, how to approach God? As a master or as a servitor? Because our original position is, Jeevere Swarupaya Nityere Krishna, our position is servitor. But if you approach it the other way, that he is the master, I am the master because I want this, 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 you give me. 
So that will become, there is a chance that you may lose faith in God over a period of time. So it is very important to understand this concept, how you should approach the Supreme Lord. So that is as a master and servant. So we should always remember this concept that whatever it does in our life, it is for our good. And by our karmic, we should have suffered more, but he is giving some, uh, he is reducing the sinful reactions. So this Prabhupada is beautifully explaining how actually in the history, many people become atheists because God did not fulfill their desires. Because actually the purpose of Bhagavad Gita is, God is expecting to fulfill, He is expecting us to fulfill His desires. What is His desire? That we should surrender Him and develop love for Him. That is His desire. So, that is how we should approach the Supreme Lord. So, here it is said, there is a user manual for everything we buy, right? For a television or a telephone, whenever you go and buy anything, you are always getting a manual, right? So, the user manual for human being is Bhagavad Gita. Because Bhagavad Gita, how you tell it is a user manual? Because it is given by the manufacturer. Bhagavad Gita. Instruction manual of God. Who created us? God. So, he has given, that is manual. Unless we don't read that, we don't, we don't get any guidance. Like in your company also, uh, we have procedures, right? For everything we have procedure, right? How to do certain activity, correct? What are our roles and responsibilities? If you do as you wish, do you think the company will be happy? No, they will tell why you did not follow the procedure, right? Same way, God has also given our, given us procedure. How to live in this life. Maybe you may be very moral person, you may be doing a lot of good things, but if you don't do according to the procedure, definitely God will not be happy. So, we have to know and live as per the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. So, this one from 18.64 to 66 is the most confidential knowledge. That means you become very intimate to Krishna and Krishna is giving this knowledge. So, Guhya, confidential, then Guhyatara is more confidential. Guhyatama is most confidential. So, this knowledge is the most confidential symbol. Sloka number 64, 65 and 66 is most confidential knowledge which Krishna is giving. Who will have access? Only the devotees will have access to this knowledge. So, what is 64 verse number 64? 64 verse, Manmanabha. Manmanabha Madhbakto. 65. 64 is? Sarva Bhujyataram. So, he is telling to surrender to the super soul, right? And then he is telling, Manmanabhava, Madhbhakto, Madhyaji, Maam Namaskuru, Maam Evishi Satyamti, Prajyanayi Priyo. So, you become my devotee. So, Srila Prabhupada is telling, these two verses are very, very important. Not only Sarva Dharma and Paritya. The Manmanabhava, Madhbhakto also, the most important slokas in Bhagavad Gita is these two slokas, Sarva Dharma and Paritya. And Manmanabha Mahaprabhu. And we know Manmanabha Mahaprabhu is Krishna is emphasizing the only verse which appears two times in Bhagavad Gita is Manmanabha Mahaprabhu. So simply become a devotee of Krishna. And how it is a proof? Many people throughout the ages they have went and preached Bhagavad Gita to throughout the world, right? But nobody became changed. But when Prabhupada uh, means preached this Bhagavad Gita, telling them become a devotee of Krishna. Many millions of people were transformed. That is the proof of Manmanava Madhbhakta. If you deliver this message as it is, you will get the result. But if you adulterate and give, no, no, I will not talk about Krishna, I will tell about that. Because if you see today's sloka also, Krishna is telling Sarva Dharma Paritacha Ma Ekam. This is the key word. Ekam means one. Only to me. No, not to any other God. Because there are many devatas are there. We cannot surrender to everyone and we cannot expect a Masuchaha. No, Masuchaha will happen only when you, when you surrender to Krishna and Krishna only has the power to remove all your sinful reaction. So, today's theme, if one simply thinks of Krishna at all times, what will happen to his duties? So, Krishna says that, give up those duties and all varieties of religion, in this Roka is telling. Our only duty is to exclusively surrender to Him. Thus, material reactions will not touch you. Do not hesitate or fear. This is the three important points in today's sloka. So, Prabhupada is telling, the only business of human life is to 
to know God and love God. This is the only business because human life, you have given the special privilege. Like you all know Nokia 3310, right? Before it was there, now it is not there, right? So what was the that phone? What, what was the use of that phone? To talk. Can you do anything else in that phone? No, only that one. Now we all have smartphones, right? So now if you buy a smartphone and you use only for Nokia as a Nokia 3310, what is the use? Like you buy a smartphone, iPhone or Samsung, but you use only for calling. So that is how. The animal life, animals are like this kind of phone. Only they have no four things, eating, mating, sleeping, depending, right? But we are like smartphones. Even though we become dull in Kali Yuga, we are like, we are actually, originally we are smart, right? We are smart. We were supposed to be smart. But now all the devices are becoming smart. In Koyamudur, I saw in airport there was water. It is written smart water. I don't know what it is. Normal, but it is written as smart water. I take a photo also. What is smart water? I don't know. <laughs> water also becomes smart now. So, everything is becoming smart. Because everything is becoming smart, we are becoming dull. We became like Nokia 3310. We know only one thing. Ahara, Nidra, Bhaya, Mahitunamcha. But we have so many functions within us. Like a smartphone, no? you have maps, you have so many things. So we have so much capabilities within us. And the main capability is to know God in this life. So if you don't use that, we are actually means we are underusing our potential. We are wasting that potential as if somebody buys a smartphone and only uses for calling. So we have to understand, as Prabhupada said, the only business of human life is to know God and love God. So today's purport, Srila Prabhupada, what are the main key points in this verse today? What Krishna means by seeing abundance of all varieties of religion. So through Bhagavad Gita, what you have seen? We have seen various steps, right? The beginning Krishna talks about which yoga? Karma yoga. Then he talks about? Jnana yoga. Jnana yoga is of course Ashtanga yoga also there. Then? Then he is telling about Bhakti yoga. Now Bhakti yoga means surrendering is part of Bhakti yoga. Now Krishna is telling, whatever I taught, you forget everything. You surrender to me. Then why Krishna is telling all about all the other yogas? Because everybody cannot surrender to Krishna. Only very fortunate people will surrender. Because Krishna is saying in the 7th chapter, I think. What is that? Bahunam Janmana Mante Jnana Van Man Prapatyate Vasudevam Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlava. That means everybody will not surrender. So whoever will not surrender, they have to take up some other process, right? They have to take some other process. They have to go for art of living, they have to go for Kriya Yoga, they have to go for this yoga, that yoga, because Krishna don't want to leave them. So he is giving the different yoga for people who are not ready to surrender to Krishna. That's why he is giving Karma Yoga, Jnana. If you don't want to go surrender to Krishna, you have to take up all this process. But by taking that process, you will not surrender to Krishna, but you will surrender to Krishna after many, 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 many lifetimes. That's what Krishna is telling. Bahunam Janmanamante, after many, many births, Jnanavan, not normal people, not karmis, Jnanavan Ma Prapadete, they will tell Vasudevam Sarvamiti, everything is Krishna, that Prabhupada said, everything is Krishna, Vasudevam Sarvamiti. Who are those people? They are Mahatma, Saha, Saha Mahatma. And what are their position? How many people will be there in this world? Sudurlava. Durlava means rare. Sudurlava means very, very rare. That's why you see very few people take up the process of Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada says that very few people come to Krishna because if you go to any other god, there's not much rules and restrictions. But when you come to Krishna, immediately there is four regulative principles you have to follow, you have to do Mangalarati, you have to do so many austerities. So people don't want to take all these things, so they go to other god where there is no rules or restrictions. Okay? So this is one important thing. Now he recommends give up all things and simply surrender. How surrender will save? The Lord personally promises to protect all kinds of, from all kinds of sinful reactions. So Krishna is promising. When we buy something from the shop, no, there is always like some guarantee or warranty. So we trust them. No, we trust them and we buy. But when you go and return, they will tell, no, not this shop, you have to go to showing port. When you buy, they tell all this warranty, right? When you go and give, it's not working, they will not accept easily. 
Sometimes they will not talk to you also. Because who is going to buy, they will attend that customer only. You, you have to stand for one or two hours and they will know no, our service and reason is doing. You go there. But here Krishna is giving, Krishna's promise is not like that. Krishna is promising that, Aham tuam sarva pape bio. When we are able to believe that false promise, why can't we believe the Lord's promise here, no? which is genuine. Aham tuam sarva pape bio. And Krishna is telling, do not worry, ma sujaha. So by that surrender you say. So no need for strenuous efforts to free oneself from sinful reaction. Because here Srila Prabhupada is referring to 7.28. Esha mantagatam papam jananam punya karmanam. Te dvande moha nirmutto ye bhajante ma trida vartaha. Krishna is telling there in 7.28, if you are not free from sinful reaction, you cannot surrender to me. See these two things are different. Krishna is telling who can surrender to me, who, who, who can be Dhridavrata, who is free from all sinful reactions. Definitely if you see our position, we are not free from all sinful reactions. So definitely we cannot become a Dhridavrata. But Prabhupada is telling, if you take this loka, Krishna is telling, if you take up the process of surrendering to Krishna, then what happens? Krishna will start relieving you from all the sinful reactions. That's why he's telling. Just the process of surrender will automatically free one from all sin. The process itself, surrendering process itself, slowly Krishna will start removing your sinful reactions. Then how you will do the surrender? Now we know, okay, surrender is important. Surrender is very, uh, surrender is what Krishna wants from us. That's why he given this whole Bhagavad Gita is to surrender. So how do you surrender? So these are the six steps. I think the two two classes before we explained in very detail what are the six steps. Simply accept religious principles that are favorable to devotional service. Avoid anything unfavorable to devotional service. This is do's and second is don'ts. Confidence that Krishna's protection in all circumstances. No need of thinking how to keep the body and soul together. Krishna will see that. Always think oneself as helpless position. Because Krishna is telling Mama Maya very difficult to cross. So we should know we are helpless here. By protection of Krishna only, we can cross the Maya. Consider Krishna as the only basis of one progress in life. So these are the six points of surrender. And Srila Prabhupada is telling, no need for other purificatory or religious process. So Masucha, we already discussed, Masucha means do not fear or hesitate. One may be perplexed as how to one can give up the kinds of religious form and simply surrender to Krishna, but such worry is useless. Even after hearing this, many people may not surrender to Krishna because they think, okay, I am praying to this God, I am praying to that God. That's why when Prabhupada was teaching this Bhagavad Gita, how many years Prabhupada taught in India? How many years he preached in India? 45 years. 45 years. But not many people accepted him. I think only one person became his disciple in India. Because in India, this worship of many gods is very, very strong. Very strong. People are not ready to leave that. People are not ready to take risk. Right? Not risk. They think if I leave, maybe my life will be spoiled. Or I may get some, you know, reaction from that god. Because I have been praying from my childhood. So that's why, but when Prabhupada went to America, those, those people, they were not, so when they were presented the philosophy, they immediately accepted. Then when they came, then Prabhupada built the temples and when he preached, when they saw the Westerners, then Indians also accepted Bhagavad Gita as it is. Then they started surrendering, accepting Krishna as the Supreme Lord and started the process of surrendering. So this we discussed last time, the sixth process of surrender. Anupulisa Sankalpa, that means the first process is to accept one of the things which is favorable for devotional service. We all saw that, right? Last time, what are those things? Chanting the holy names of the Lord, chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra every day, that is a favorable thing for devotion as a process of surrender. This process, if you take them, Krishna will start removing your sinful reaction. So every day you chant this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, the highest thing minimum is 16 rounds, but we start from one round, two round, and gradually we can increase the rounds. Sankulyasi Sankalpa. Then, offering the food to the Lord, what is offering the food to the Lord, reading Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, reading the scriptures. So one chanting, offering, uh, reading the scriptures. What else is there? Following Ekadeshi, following the appearance day of the Lord. 
tomorrow we can follow fasting. This all will make God happy. So this process of surrender. So tomorrow is actually Sri Krishna Janmashtami. So we are supposed to fast from morning sunrise to middle of the night. Then there is Agadisi Prasadam. So this fasting, uh, chanting and reading the scriptures every day with family you can read. Then offering the food, boga to the Lord and taking prasadam. So these are the favorable things, Anukulyasa Sankalpa. Pradikulyasa Varjana means avoiding things which are detrimental to Jai Shri Shri Radha Sham Shandar Bhagavan. So Pradikulyasa Varjana means avoiding, rejecting which are unfavorable. What are the things unfavorable? We saw these four regulative principles. Don'ts. No meat eating, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. These four things will make our spiritual progress quicker because otherwise this will actually make more and more sin. When you are having more and more sins, you cannot progress in devotional service. Then, Rakshati Iti Vishwaso. Confidence that Krishna protection in all circumstances. So we know that Krishna will protect. What are the examples we saw from the scriptures? Last time we saw Gajendra surrender and the Lord came and rescued him right from the crocodile. That is from Srimad Bhagavatam. Then, Draupadi surrender, Krishna rescued her by giving unlimited amount of saris. Then Prahlad Maharaj surrender, he protected from his own demonic father. So if you have this faith, the Lord will protect. Then you can be, you can be, you can progress quickly in spiritual life. Like we have an artificial fear, like many people who are going to the, you know, like Himalayas, they are living in jungles, there are a lot of animals there, poisonous. How they are able to live? Because Prabhupada is telling, even though if you are there, the, there is a cobra there. There is Paramatma inside the cobra also. So, uh, Prabhupada is giving an example when Haridas Thakur was doing, you know, sadhana inside a cave. cave. So, who was in the cave? One very big poisonous snake was there and Haridas Thakur was not afraid. The snake also was not afraid. But the common public, they said, we will not come to you, see you because there is a big snake. Like sometimes some people have big dogs, we, afraid, we are afraid to go to their house, right? They write, beware of dog. We also don't want to go because as soon as you open the gate, first dog comes, right? So we don't go, normally. So like that, many people told, we will not come to your cave because there is snake inside your cave. Saridas so, Thakur, then he told, okay, because of that, I will go to another place because nobody is coming. There are people are not able to get the devotee association. But the snake understood this situation and the snake left. So Prabhupada is giving the Paramatma knows. Paramatma is telling to the snake that he is a devotee, don't disturb him. So like that, fear is very artificial. As much as you have faith in the Lord, the Lord protects and you will not be harmed by any, uh, even any of these dangers. So that is very important. Rakshati Iti Vishwaso. Then, Gopit Tarte Varanam Tata. That to, to have firm faith that Krishna is our only maintainer. No need to think how to keep the body and soul together. So Krishna will maintain. How many of us have this faith? We are always, we all have faith. We also have invested so much money. <laughs> Pension plan, you know, correct or not? <laughs> Pension plan. Pension plan is, they will maintain us when you go back from Kuwait. We don't have faith that Krishna will maintain. Pension plan will maintain. So, our faith actually should be more now. It's like Krishna will maintain. Krishna will maintain. Then, next one is? Atma. Yeah. So, it is full self-surrender. Sacrificing everything for Lord. Easy or difficult this one? Difficult. Prabhupada said, Bhakti is easy for the easy, complex for the complex. The more we are simple, it is easy, but it will be, but it comes over a period of time. By sadhana, sadhana we do, that we can fully self-surrender. But the more you surrender to the Lord, then more you become easy. And Prabhupada gives an example that a child is crying, if you put in anybody's lap, right? Child is keeping on crying. Like you keep changing, the relative uncle takes the child, then other relative takes, but the child does not stop crying. But as soon as the child comes to the mother's lap, it will stop crying. So if you surrender to Krishna like that unconditionally, we will also stop 
crying in this material life. But still that condition comes, we have to keep continuing crying. Crying we come and crying we go. Because we refuse to surrender to the Lord, who is our protector and maintainer. But if you really want to stop crying, we have to take full shelter of Krishna. And then we also saw think cruelly, humble and big. That we saw the Trinada Pisuni Chena, Tarora Pisaishni. Amanena Manadena Kekanaya Sadari. So by putting oneself in the lower position, humble and helpless, we can easily attract the mercy of the Lord. Because the Lord is saying even in the Bible that blessed are humble and meek in their heart, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. So if you are humble and meek, then one the many people, they were offering the other words to Prabhupada and he is coming from the airport. So some common people ask why they are falling at your feet. Prabhupada said they are trying to become humble. Because by humble people, they easily get access to the kingdom of God. So this humility is a very, very important factor. By humility, you can easily attract Krishna's attention. We know that many, like uh, the Goswamis, they were so humble, they were so humble that they easily attracted uh, the attra attraction of Krishna. Now, this is one important sloka from Srimad Bhagavatam. Devashi Bhutapa Nanam Pitrinam Nayam Rini Nakinkara Charajan Saravatmana Ye Sharanam Saranyam Gato Mukuddam Parityatya Kartun. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.41. O King, one who has given up all material duties and has taken full shelter of the lotus feet of Mukunda, who offers shelter to all, is not indebted to demigods, great sages, ordinary living beings, relatives, friends, mankind, or even one's forefathers who have passed away. Since all such classes of living entities are part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, one who has surrendered to the Lord's service has no need to serve such person separately. This is a very, very important sloka in relation to this today's sloka. Because, see, we are here in Kuwait or India, we are paying tax for many things, correct? What are the taxes we are paying in India? We are living in India, here many things are free, but in India, if you see, there are tax for many things. We are paying house tax, correct or not? Everybody paying house tax, property tax, because, yes, sorry. Municipality. municipality tax, yes, municipality tax for water, electricity tax, electricity tax we pay, and municipality tax for disposing the waste, here also we pay, municipality tax, water, electricity, what else we pay? Income tax we pay, very important, income tax we pay, now GST we pay, yes, yes, GST we pay, any other sales tax, many things there. Even you go to Govindas, there also have GST is there. So you take some prasadam, more GST is coming. <laughs> so that means what is the condition? If you are living in this world, you are indebted to many people. Correct? That's why you are paying back. To the government you are paying back. Like you are grown up. Now you see, one was given up material taken. See, forget this one. Who taken sugar? He is not indebted to... See, we are indebted to demigods, right? Why we are indebted to demigods? We have to pay tax to them. Why? Demigods, they are providing what? Water. Varuna is providing water. Then, air. We are breathing every minute, right? So if you pay tax to the government for the house, house tax, municipality for removing the waste, everything. Similarly, we have to pay tax to the demigods because you are utilizing what you are You are utilizing water every day. You are utilizing air. What is electricity? No, here we are demigods we are talking. Demigods. We are comparing, we are paying tax to the government because we are using many benefits from government. Same way with demigods also, we are using many benefits. So what are the benefits we are using from demigods? Water we are using, air we are using, the food, we are taking food, that also comes. Then, life we are using, without life we cannot survive, right? Fire. So that means we are indebted to demigods. Correct? You all agree? We are indebted to, so we have to pay tax to the demigods. Then, great sages, we are indebted or not? Because they are giving the scriptures, they show the path for the humanity, how to live. Otherwise, how we will live? We will live like animals. So the great sages, they sacrifice their life 
to guide the humanity. They are like, you can see the beacon light in the seashore. That will guide the ship where to come to the port. Okay, so that means we are inducted to the great stages, right? Then, ordinary living beings, those who are like other animals and other things, they are also supporting your life. Then, relatives. So when you are grown up, definitely you all taken support from your relatives. Nobody grown individually. Like your uncle was there, your auntie was there, there was your, uh, you know, grandfather, grandmother, who brought you when you were a child, they were carrying you. Right? That means you are inducted to them also. Okay. Then, friends. Who does not have friends? Friends supported you in getting you a job, correct, to come to Kuwait, or friends supported you when you are in India, for in your college times, in your during your job. We all agree, right? And generally to the humanity. And all your forefathers also. Your forefathers only whatever property you have in your home now. It's all coming from your forefathers. Now you are enjoying that land or house, you know. That means definitely we are all inducted to many people, starting from demigods, sages, ordinary living beings and everything. So, but if you don't surrender to Krishna, then this Loka is telling you are inducted to all these people. You have to give Pitru. Who has to give? The son has to give this Pitru Dharma. Why he has to give? Because the father given him life. He is paying back to his father now. Why he is paying back? What is the advantage if you give Pitru? What is the advantage? That person, the forefathers or father, his suffering will reduce and he will quickly achieve another body. That is the purpose of giving Pitra Dharma. So that we have to give because the father has brought us, he has fed us, we grown because of his mercy, now we are paying back to the father. That he will let him be relieved from all suffering and take another body or go back to God. And so uh, this all we are supposed to do. If you don't, unless and until you don't surrender to the Lord. But one who has taken, this is Shastra is saying, one who has given up all material duties, if you have taken full shelter of the lotus feet of Mukunda, who offers shelter, he is not inducted. No more he need to do all these things. He need not do anything. No need to be offer anything to demigod. No need to offer anything to the great sages. At least we know the seven sages are there. No need to offer any debts to other living beings, to relatives, friends or mankind or even one's own forefathers, including Pitra Dharpan who has passed away. Since all such classes of living, why not required? Because they are all part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. By pouring water to the root, the entire tree is getting nourished. Because Krishna says, Mame also Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. So you understand? Unless and if you don't surrender, you have to do. If you surrender, no need to do. So this is one. So this is, he need not, since part and parcel of one who has surrendered to this Lord's service has no need to serve such person separately. Therefore, what is the remedy now? Prabhupada is saying the only remedy is to saranyam. Saranyam means surrender. Simply by Krishna consciousness. You can save your son, your disciple, your relative or anyone whom you love, real affection. Then give him Krishna consciousness and he will be saved from death. That is the purpose of this one. Srila Prabhupada is telling. If you want to save anybody, your relative, your son, your father or mother, if you take full surrender of Krishna, definitely they all get benefit and you can give them Krishna consciousness also. What is the proof? When Prahlad Maharaj prayed to Narsing Dev, Narsing Dev, Lord, Lord, what he replied? That all your forefathers, generation, how many generation? Seven generation before and after, all will be liberated. This is a gift I am giving because you surrender to me. So one person if he is surrendering, his entire generations are becoming liberated from the clutches of material reaction. So this is what the importance of surrender. So this surrender is very, very important. And by doing this surrender, you can experience miracles in your life. So now Prabhupada is talking about surrender. Let us hear what he is telling about this specific sloka he is telling. Yeah, for many lifetimes performing sinful activities. 
Is it possible to contract all the simple activity in one lifetime, or does it require many? Well, I mean, that is just a long question. One minute. You are not reading Bhagavad Gita? What Krishna said? Sarva Dharmaan Paritajya Mahami Kanda Saranam Raja Omta Sarva Pape Bhavaksha You surrender to me, give up your all business. I give you relief from all sinful reactions. Immediately. Read it as one minute. <coughs> I like Krishna, I was forgotten, now I understand, I fully surrender to you. I am immediately free from all things. Without any reservation, without any politics, if you fully surrender, Krishna is assuring. Ampa, Sarva Pāpi, Ampa, Krishna, Mahasun Chok, He reassures. Don't worry whether I will be able to do it. To give you relief from all things. Mahasuj, finish, guarantee. You do this. <coughs> so, how much time it requires to surrender to Krishna? Immediately can do that. Surrender means you surrender and what? Three finish. So how much time it will take for surrender? One minute. One minute, according to Prabhupada. He says, very, because Krishna is giving the guarantee. You come, I will give you relief from all. Now it is up to our decision, our faith. Whether we believe in Krishna's word or not. If you don't believe, it may take lifetimes. If you have full faith, within a minute you can surrender. And Prabhupada is telling that you pray to Krishna that I have come back to you. Please, you take. So we can read this. Louder. We should not be depressed by work, fear, worry, anxiety and job. And we should not feel all alone, ourselves, in all situations. Just we should think of Krishna because Krishna is our most intimate friend, Surat. Surat Sarva Bhutana. Friend, Father or Son and the object of conjugal love. So Krishna is always there within us, in our heart. And the moment you turn back to Krishna, Krishna takes care of your life. And Krishna says, do not worry, Masuchaha. So, Srila Prabhupada is saying here, simply our prayer should be, My dear Krishna, please remind me to be always chant your holy name. Please do not put me in forgetfulness. You are sitting within me as super soul. You can put me into forgetfulness or remembering you. Because Krishna says in 15 point, then what is he saying? Samhidri Sanni Vishnu Matta Smritir Jnana Mapovanajan. Whether you remember or forget, it is all because of the super soul, Krishna within. So don't make me forget about you. So please do not put me into forgetfulness. Please always remind me to chant, even if you send me to hell. It doesn't matter. Just so long as I can always chant Hare Krishna. So this is Prabhupada's letter to Devananda, Los Angeles, November 23, 1968. So this is the main thing. Surrender starts with chanting the holy name and following Krishna's instruction. That you have more faith and conviction, you can immediately surrender. Otherwise it takes Bahunam, Janmana, Mante. It takes many, many lifetimes. Here is the process by which you can, by surrendering to Krishna, Immediately Krishna takes control and Krishna operates. That's why they say, one who, one who is a devotee, Krishna guides the devotee, but one who surrenders fully, Krishna operates through that person. So it's very important. The more you surrender, Krishna takes in charge of your life. So that is a benefit. By surrendering to Krishna, nobody becomes a loser, but they gain every good thing. Because somebody told Aprabhupa that I don't want to surrender, I want to be independent. Prabhupada said, a child's freedom is nonsense. The child is always under the control of guidance of parents. It is life is good for the child. The child wants to go tell, no, I don't want to be with my parents. So who is a loser? The child will be suffering. So that's what Prabhupada was telling. That surrender means you are taking the guidance and shelter of the Lord. So one person asks, sooner or later, Prabhupada, I will surrender to Krishna. 
Prabhupada said, better sooner because you don't know whether there is later. We don't know tomorrow we may leave or not. Today is a chance. Try to surrender to God and try to, you have to go back to Him. So that is it. We don't know tomorrow morning what will happen here in Kuwait. Okay, so that is the message. Very, very important sloka. This is the essence of uh, Bhagavad Gita to surrender. So we are in the second part of Chaturmasya, August 15 to September 13. We are fasting on yogurt. So Chaturmas whoever is following, they all should refrain from yogurt. So this is to minimize our sense gratification and to improve our spiritual life. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.